All right, so I'm really, really, really extra done with this uh, app today. So I think this is freeze number two or three, and the other time I got a phone call and some other odd such nonsense. So anyway, where we ended the other stream, while I was talking about, this does help me calibrate a little bit and find out, okay, if I add this much color and this much color, this is the, this is the general blend that I get. So I have added, once again, I added one drop, just a single drop of purple. So I've added one drop of purple. And 10 drops of silver. I'm not struggling with heck. YouTube is struggling big time. So this is about the color I get with 10 drops of silver, one drop of purple. This is gonna end up darker once I pour it and cut it. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more silver, I think. And actually I need to add my pink to this too because this color here is not quite purple. It's a little bit more purple at the top of the hole, I guess. But this, uh, it's actually kind of a bluish purple. It's hard to see in this light. Um, but I'm actually, I'm actually quite close to the color right now. It just needs to be a little bit brighter. So that when I cut it, it's going to be a little bit darker when I cut it. So I'm going to add 10 more drops of silver. And then if I need to, if I end up adding too much silver, I can always add one more drop of purple to darken it back up. But So this will hopefully, hopefully kind of blend it in with the more, you know, silvery, swirly. If this is, you know, if this ends up purple with a lot of, you know, dark purple with some bright silver swirls in it, that's, that's kind of the idea because it's, it's so blotchy up here that, again, I just, I just want it to blend in. So I like what I've got right now. So that's, that's what I've got right now. That's what the top of the hole looks like. So there you can see there's plenty of, plenty of purple up here, plenty of swirls. And if it kind of looks like that on top of the hole, minus the bubbles, of course, those will pop. Um, but if it kind of looks like that up there, I think we'll be in business because it'll, it'll blend in. But I'm gonna let this sit here for a second um, and let this kind of work its magic. It tends to change just a little bit, but that's what it work, looks like now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish mixing it. I'm gonna try to mix a little bit softer to get some of those bubbles out, but it's gonna add some once I, when I pour it anyway. So it's just, it's impossible to mix it without bubbles. Uh, but I'm gonna try to Let's be a little bit gentler with it, a little bit nicer with it. Hopefully force some of those bubbles to the top. But I uh, really like what this is looking like. I'm gonna add just add a little bit more silver to it. Uh, this is such a purple, such a dominant color that I can get away with extra silver, basically. 
because it's not going to end up bright. Or if I go with like this yellow over here or pink or something like that, it's a whole lot easier to make the color too bright or too vibrant, but the darker colors, um, it's going to make them look silvery, but they're still going to be fairly dark. So I don't have to worry about this being too bright. And there's plenty of Plenty of bright silver on the around the top of the top of the holes anyway, so Alright. So once again, that's what we're dealing with. I have stirred quite a few of the bubbles out, but you'll be able to see them the bubbles kind of gradually rising to the top here. Uh, and the, that's what I like about this, uh, the thunder plug is the bubbles seem to come out. They don't get trapped as easily as they do in other, uh, in other plug mixtures. That once again is the top of the hole, what I'm plugging into. And like I said, there's plenty of really vibrant silver, uh, darker purple around the top here. So again, I'm just trying to blend in. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this cause I like it. And just double checking the adhesion of the plug dam up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stir this in the hole just a little bit. Because the colors tend to want to pool sometimes. And so that's when you'll have kind of a, and I'll show you on the side of my code zero what I'm talking about. You can see that you even see some of the silver there has shifted a little bit. But... This also kind of helps make sure that the air bubbles work themselves out if there's anything kind of down inside the hole. Um, just make sure that I get, and this also helps a little bit with swirling on the top of the hole. I don't want any of this stuff to separate really, but you can kind of control the swirling just a little bit. Now this stuff is gonna, it's gonna settle even as we watch it here. So it'll settle, the bubbles will start rising to the top, the colors will shift around a little bit. It's actually pretty interesting to watch. Actually, you can see it better with the lights on. So you'll gradually see some bubbles rising to the top. They'll force their way out. I'm gonna, you know, thump on the ball here a little bit to kind of force them, kind of force them out, shake them loose. But this will look different here in about five or 10 minutes. See a couple bubbles just coming to the top and popping. But we've got that. Right in the middle of all of that. So if I cut that and it looks like that at the end, that's gonna blend in with everything else. Yeah, yeah, thanks, I know, shut up, stupid phone. That's gonna just, if it ends up like that, that's just gonna blend in with everything else. Once again, the thumb's down there and we're just looking for blend. Now what I was talking about here on my code zero that I plugged, it's gonna be featured in the dark code video. So what happened on this one is it went in like this swirly color. Actually, let me thump on this a little bit. To... I'll kind of make some of the bubbles let go. 
So, once again, that's what we look like over here. I really like that. So if that cuts anywhere close to that, it's gonna end up a little bit darker. It's gonna end up a little bit darker. So, uh, but on my code zero, what I was talking about is the plug that I did in this. I counted on this to end up a little bit darker, so I made it bright intentionally, but you can kind of see that there's a kind of a solid ring around the plug. That happens a lot when you're using more transparent colors. Um, the silver, for whatever reason, tends to kind of pool in the middle and the, around the edges gets a little gets a little darker. But this was one that I had kind of, I, I looked at it and I cut it and I'm like, holy crap, you can see it, but it looks cool. So I'm just going to leave it. So, and the the tone and color match and whatever else, and it just kind of looks like some extra swirling in there, but it actually, it fits. The color's right, and it looks cool, so. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a planet. But yeah, so like I said, even though it's got this dark ring around the outside of it, it it just looks cool. So I'm, I'm not mad at all about that. I'm really mad about that. But anyway, I think this is where I'm going to cut it off. We've got stuff to do tonight. We're going to go um, film for this one, number one, now that I've gotten it done. So we're going to film for that one. I've got some other stuff like, uh, let me see, my Rubicon. Um... Uh, let me see, not my Rubicon, my RSTX-1 that I don't have any Royal Crest footage for. And my Idle Synergy, I don't think I have any Royal Crest footage for. Um, so both of those are going to be compared to the UFO alert. Uh, I need to get some Code Zero footage that I'm going to use to compare because the Code Zero is an overseas Code Black. So... It's just kind of convenient that I had one of these because it's going to be a whole lot easier to see the difference in, okay, this without looking at all the stuff on the screen. Yeah, it takes 7 million. Right about that. I don't know why it keeps freezing. It's probably connected to the Wi-Fi extender upstairs, and that Wi-Fi extender's been going out. So it keeps interrupting is so is what I think is going on. So once again the pen pen is in the ring finger. Um now it depends on how far you get into the core. I don't typically go too far. The biggest thing that happens is taking the thumb hole out of it. And once you fill the hole back up, you're not going to, you know, replace the material or you're not going to reshape the core. Once you've drilled into the core, the core has been reshaped. Um, but you're not changing it a whole lot. Uh, I've, had, I, I've never, I've never liked plugged bowling balls most of the time because it's a lot of work and then you end up with a, I don't end up liking the surface that it ends up with too much or, or whatever else, but I just don't like having plug in the bowling ball. It just looks obnoxious to me. I'd rather have just something freshly drilled one, one set of holes and then I'll just uh, drill something else rather than plug something. But I have successfully plugged several balls here recently. I've gone through an entire box of plug actually. And especially for some of my overseas balls, it's either plug them or let them sit there and crack. So in that case, I've re, I've redrilled quite a few of my overseas balls. I've got my high road T down there waiting for holes. Uh, this one came out actually really good. And there's there's the old fingers up there. This one came out really good, and I'm expecting to be pretty happy with this. Uh, my Halo Burn came out really really good. I had to replug that hole seven different times because I could never get the color right. But pink's, pink's hard to match. Uh, but that one came out great and it reacts really good. I threw it the back two games last night. Pretty happy with it. So it's all good. 
but some extra footage for this. Angel's gonna get some footage for Code Extreme. I need to get some RSTX1 idle synergy footage, so I need to go on ahead and get go get wrapped up and cleaned up for that. Uh, the next stream might be this weekend sometime because I have to do this nonsense. And this is gonna be all kinds of fun. I am gonna try to match this. So this, this hole over here is gonna be this kind of reddish orange. This hole over here is going to get some of the reddish orange on this side. It's going to get some of the blue in the middle, and then it's going to get some of this kind of swirled um, yellow whatever else on this side. Last time I tried to do this, it actually came out pretty good. So we're going to give it a shot. I can't remember what ball that was on. can't remember what ball that was on. No, it was on my, I'm pretty sure it was on my Halo Burn on the fingers. Let me, eh, screw it. All right, so anyway, I'm going to turn this off. I got to go get ready to go. Wife will be here any minute. So that's the stream. Take a half a million for this time. And actually, it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look good, but it doesn't look terrible. It blends in. That I'm really that I'm really happy with down there because, like I said, you've got to even kind of angle the angle the camera to even see that it's there. So that I'm going to end up being really happy with. Bye. Okay. Bye. So, thanks for uh, sticking with me throughout all the YouTube hiccups. We actually have uh, an, a replacement for that Wi-Fi extender on the way. So. Thanks, everybody. I uh, hope you've been enjoying all the stuff I've been cranking out here the last couple days, and we will see you next time.